out of the two tubes, which are full of blood, about 20 milliliters each, we have got 2 milliliters of platelet-rich plasma. Now we can see that the volume of PRP is 10 times less than in initial blood volume. It means that we have a concentration of platelets around 8 times higher than it is in the whole blood. This solution is now ready for use. The patient who will undergo a variant rejuvenation is waiting for us in an operating theater. About half milliliter of PRP will be injected into both ovary and in addition some volume of PRP will be spread on the myometrium surface. This is our patented technology. The procedure will be performed by Dr. Natalie Petrik. Now we have come to the operating theater with the prepared platelet-rich plasma. They have already been Dr. Natalia Pietrik. The patient has been under general anesthesia. She cannot feel pain. Dr. Natalie is performing the last preparation. Now I am going to leave the PRP on the sterile table. Here it is. Ok, now I am going to show what Natalia is doing. The intravarian injection is performed with the help of ultrasound navigation. For this purpose, we use a special intravaginal probe, which is covered with a sterile condom. A special needle guide is placed on the ultrasound. This white item, which is mounted on the probe, is a needle guide. A special thin and long needle with ultrasound visible marks is inserted through this hole. Now Dr. Natalie Petrik is going to show us this needle. A syringe with PRP is attached to the needle. The needle has already been covered. This procedure demands an excellent training and precision in every movement. The ovary contains plenty of blood vessels and there are a lot of obstacles can be met on the way to the ovary. There are balls and large blood vessels on that way. So, this procedure must be done by only well-trained physician, who also well experienced at ultrasound-guided interventions. In order to get it in the right place, Dr. Natalie Petrik has to perform an ultrasound study with the intravaginal probe. It's needed for evaluation of the ovarian position. At their position, I established the doctor connect the needle with the syringe. The needle is not ordinary. It has a 22 gauge. It's a special medical terminology, which denotes quite a big diameter. If we use the smaller one, the platelets would be damaged and the efficacy of the ovarian rejuvenation procedure comes to naught. Now, Dr. Natalia Petrik is taking aim and ejecting PRP under ultrasound guidance. In which ovary are you injecting now? The right and then in the left one. For some women additionally? Oh, that's it. The procedure has been completed. Have you finished? Yeah. For some women we additionally use irrigation of the uterine cavity with PRP. This option is performed according to special indications. The necessity of this procedure we assess individually. Ultimately, this is how the avari rejuvenation is performed. Of course, it looks very easily in the hands of an experienced physician. But believe me, the things are not as simple as they seem. It takes a precise technique to do the procedure properly and to avoid complications. Usually our patients wake up within 10 minutes. We transfer them to a post-operative observation ward and one hour later they are ready to leave. Thanks for watching. It's been the ovarian rejuvenation procedure. This procedure has been performed 
in the Ultrasound Pro Clinic by Dr. Natalie Petrik. I'm Michael Petrik. It's been a pleasure to share our knowledge and achievement with you. See you on our YouTube channel. Bye.